DJ Pat, Patrick Clark. It has been a while, Patrick. I noticed, man, last time I came to your house, I didn't see that big old fence out there. How tall is that fence around your house now? 24 feet high? Why you, why, why is the fence that high, Patrick? For your protection. Protection from who? Do I got a wire on? No, I don't have a wire on, Patrick. Why you, who, who you need protection from? Why are you scared to say who you need protection from? Yeah, I did see that Wally and Gillo. Yeah, I did see that. I did see Gilly and Wallow. I did just see. I seen that Million Dollar Wolf game. Talking about with Junior and them. And, and Senior and them was on there. And old girl Mike. Man, don't be, don't be asking me why I keep calling her old girl. She knows she a bad wood boy. That girl, yo, die, yo, I'm talking about Mike Prince. Anyway, man, ain't nobody worrying about her. You say you paranoid. Paranoid about what? See, the way it looked like, it looked like, you know, they on your side. They talking about the homie this and, you know, Jay Prince. <laughs> yeah, he talked slow like Mace, the homie this. And and then and, and he did this and the homie that. And the homie was, but yeah, see, he done made it. He done tried to put a case out there. Yeah, he, he done put a case on you while you been behind bars, yeah. No, I ain't talking about in jail. I'm talking about at your house. This big fence you got, it's like you behind bars. You don't put yourself in solitary confinement, right? Hey, I won't trust nobody neither. But you got to think about that in the back of your mind. You got to be wondering, man, what if, what if Senior and Junior really set me up to, man, can, I can't even imagine what you feel like when you go to sleep at night. How do you feel? It's hard for you to sleep at night. Well, let me ask you a question. How hard do you think it is for takeoff to sleep at night? Hmm? Huh? You think it's hard for you to sleep at night, sucker? How hard you think it is for takeoff to sleep at night? He ain't here no more. Nobody don't care about what you're going through and your pain and struggle and how you feel about what you feel about and how paranoid you are. Yeah, I don't care if you paranoid sleeping in a deep sweat like ghetto boys did on my playing tricks on me. I'm trying to tell you what about takeoff? He lost his life. But it's too late. Look, go ahead. It's too late to holler. You didn't mean for it to happen like that. This one mistake done messed your whole life up. You say you would give anything if you could go back and reverse it and have that bullet go back in that gun and you can put it back and you can go back and walk outside going back but it's too late hey look at here you ain't run Howard and you ain't directing no movie this is real life what you done got yourself into <laughs> man I don't want to hear nothing about you being praying I don't Listen, I don't want to hear nothing about you. You going to church? I don't hear nothing about you been on. A, <laughs> I don't care if you been on Zoom with TD Jakes. You think I care? So what? <laughs> TD Jakes can't save you. Why you been zooming with him anyway? Ain't no getting your life together. 
see, you got to, hey, watch this. You got court coming up, yeah. You got court coming up, and everybody going to want to know the magic answer or the magic question. What is Patrick Clark going to do? See, now, see, now they quaver. Yeah, now they quaver being quiet. It's kind of hurting you right now, ain't it? See, at first, long as he wasn't talking, it was like, he ain't saying nothing. But when you burn it out, I bet you say, oh, God, I'm out. But I'm, that's, it's always, you know, just like you burn out, you got to go right back in. Yeah, they see, when you burn out, they give you time to get your case together. Man, oh, man, look, you can... Man, you can say that self-defense and from you when you get up there in front of that them twelve jurors and you trying to talk about it was self-defense, they ain't gonna be trying to have none of that. I ain't got nothing to do with you, don't wanna go back in there with quavers. Quavers put that enema bag up on that wall. You talking about the old enema bag like Grandma and them used to do? Yeah, he put it up on the wall and what he do? He took a piece of soap and he cut it into for red. What he do? He pushed the soap up in you and then he with the enema thing and what happened? Patrick, stop crying, man. God. Man, look what you done got yourself into, Patrick Clark. You got court coming up. I'm telling you right now, you got court coming up. And everybody want to know what you're going to do. Everybody from QC to Lil Baby to the City Girls to Usher. Yeah, the meat meals. Yeah, everybody. Yo, got it. Her, got it. Scarface, Outcast. Meek Mills, everybody want to know LL Cool J 50 Cent. I'm telling you, even Russell Simmons want to know what you're going to do. Because everybody love take off. And right now, everybody wants you locked up for the rest of your life. Hey, I'm telling you right now. Hey man, you know that you know the feds done picked up Lil Cam. Oh, you didn't know that? Lil Cam is in the feds and they done charged him with them with that gun. Not all the one he had that night in that bowling alley. Hey man, see, Lil Cam gonna drop a dime on you. <laughs> 